They need a voice for the wheelchair community and the music industry, you feel me? And I don't feel like we got that right now. That's what inspired me to keep on doing it, so I can inspire people in the wheelchair to keep on going and chase their dreams no matter what they going through, you feel me? Being in a wheelchair is kind of unfortunate for me, but sometimes it's hard to keep on going. You got to wake up every day and rely on other people. You got to wake up and can't be independent. And the people around you play a big part in it too. People around you, you know, be the reason why, you know, you can get to the next level. It's all who you keep around you too, you know, because you need that support. But give me the motivation to keep going is that I got a lot of support around me too, you feel me? So they, they give me the motivation to want to get up and, and you know, and strive so that way I'm able to feed the people around me, feed my mom. Everybody in the wheelchair, they, they on disabilities, you feel me? And disabilities ain't gonna pay the bills, you feel me? So I gotta, I'm trying to do something to make millions so I can be able to pay the bills despite being in the wheelchair and being in my situation. When I first got shot, like, I just, being in the coma and in, in, in the hospital, I, I woke up in the hospital 16 days after, you feel me? And like, honestly, like, you thought you thought you was you think you dead when you're in a coma. Like I, when I was in a coma, I thought I ain't, I thought like this how I feel to die. You feel me? Like when I first got shot, I'm like damn, like I I die. Like you feel me? This 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 much would it feel like to die. And then when I woke up in the hospital, you feel me? Like and I couldn't move and I couldn't walk. So I was just mad confused. You feel me? Like I was in and out of surgery. Had tubes all in my throat. That's why I got the scar right here. I had the trach in my throat. I really didn't really had no control of what was going on. You feel me? Like. I mean, they just had to do what they could, you know, they had to do their job to save my life. I felt like I was in sleep paralysis. And when I woke up and they told me I can't walk, shit, it's just, just crazy. Man. Like, who inspired me? Honestly, my brother. That's the piece of my brother, Ali. My brother was rapping first and he taught me how to rap. He always had bars, like, he always told me, like, I'm talented, like, he was a, he was like a, like a bar for bar type of nigga, like, I always knew how to make a song. You feel me? Like, but he told he the one who started me on rap. Like, he used to be rapping when we was kids. But then I just wanted to rap like him, so I was just I start rapping too. But he was always better than me, like spitting bars wise. But like I always had like the like the music. Like I, once I got in the booth, I fell in love with the mic. My brother really inspired me to do music. Hey yo, y'all ain't know it's Vulture. Like, what was he get paid, nigga? Not delayed. Come get paid. The BGP. Y'all ain't know so it's my shit. BGP, bosses get paid. And we get laid, not delayed.